Hey guys, welcome back to Smack My Deck. Uh, quite a few of you in the comments have asked um, for instructions or a guide on how to do a fresh install of Windows 11 on your GPD WinMax 2 when you get it. Um, uh, I, I didn't realize uh, a lot of people had difficulties with this, but uh, I haven't got my WinMax anymore. Um, it's it's sold. It wasn't a machine for me. It's not a bad machine. It's actually a very, very good machine. Uh, you know, just check it for worms first. Do a fresh install of Windows. That's what we're going to go through now. But once I'd done that, I was very impressed with the device. I just had to sell it because I'm using my Steam Deck, which I like for gaming. I prefer the analog sticks on the Steam Deck. They feel like console analog sticks, whereas the analog sticks on... Uh, on the WinMax 2 actually felt a little bit more like Switch Joy-Con analog sticks. Um, so I, I, I got rid of it. And the other thing is, is I got so used to using my laptop for productivity and I felt the WinMax was a step down. So I, I don't need the hybrid. I'm actually good with two dedicated devices, even though for years I used the WinMax 2020 and the WinMax 2021. Anyway, you're here to see uh, how to do a fresh install. So the first thing to do is power up your GPD win max 2 now i'm doing this uh, on my zephyrus but the principle is exactly the same it's windows um and what i'm going to teach you here is what you're going to do now a lot of you may know it so you've got no need for this video but this is specifically out for you guys that have asked how to do it so i'll leave a link to this um this page that i'm on now so check that out in the description so what you want to do is we'll, we'll kind of talk i'll talk you through it as well so first we're going to do boot up your uh, your win max um go through all of uh you know the windows initialization i don't recommend connecting it to a network uh because if you have got a worm it could just get on your network and infect your other machine so let's refrain from uh, connecting it to the internet just now uh, go through um and and once you've gone through the initial setup first thing we want to do is we want to open up command prompt so if you um if you press the windows key and start typing in uh command prompt uh, you you'll get this uh, coming up now make sure you hit like it says over here run as administrator so once you run as a ad, 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 once you run it as administrator what you want to do is you can either type all of this or you can copy and paste it now as you can see over here it says destination folder yeah so what we're going to do we're going to have all of this and in destination folder you're going to put the name of the folder where you would like like your drivers to go now i have for the purpose of this video i have i've just cr created one so i've created uh, i've got a memory stick up uh, i've got a memory stick plugged in the device and it's drive e um and that is where i want them to go so what you do is in in notepad that's that's the name of the folder yeah e and uh oh, sorry i forget what he's like whatever what these signs called but uh, you can see them on screen with a colon semicolon backslash um but there you go it's, it's on screen now so that's 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 the name or the location of your folder so what you do is um you you copy you you, you copy that line over from uh, the one i was just showing on the website and um you 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 go with everything but then you put the destination um you put the destination of the folder where you would like it in this case it's drive e and i've named the folder called wm2 drivers and honestly that's pretty much it so if i was just to for the sake of this video i'll probably speed up some of it uh because it will take a while to copy my drivers on this device so if i go in here and i just start typing in here we go we've got command prompt run it as administrator yes yes we're good okay so now i'm just going to paste that in there see what the instructions we've got online um and we are now here we go from dism that's obviously what we copied all the way down and in the, in the speech marks I've, I've put the location now when i hit enter we should see all my drivers being backed up that's just not a bad idea i should just i'll, I'll probably just leave them on this memory stick for um for this device so there you go um guys i'm gonna i'm gonna like just just forward through this and uh we'll talk about uh we'll talk about the next step now we have the drivers now what i do recommend is once you get your drivers you scan them but i'll, I'll we'll, we'll have a look at that on video once uh, all these drivers are scanned uh, all these drivers have been backed up okay guys now that we've got our drivers backed up take that memory stick out just keep it safe somewhere we're not going to use it just yet uh, so what we want to do head over to this link i've left in the description but this is uh microsoft microsoft's official website and a windows 11 installation media 
uh, media tool. So what we want to do is go down here, create Windows 7, uh, 11 uh, installation media. So just go ahead and click download now. Once you click download, there you go. Like I always say, scan everything. So remember, you're doing this from a different PC than your WinMax 2. So scan it with Microsoft Defender. Here we go. No threats found, so we're good. Okay, so once we run this, uh, I'm not going to go through all the entire process of this, um, but you know, you 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 get this screen up here, and uh, it will ask you. Actually, I haven't got an, I haven't got a, a relevant memory stick plugged in, so I wonder where it's looking for. Okay, so here you go. Look, once you once you go through here, just uh, accept the terms and conditions, read them if you want. I don't I don't ever think anyone does. Uh, but once you go through that, just make sure you've got an eight gig stick and create an inst installation tool. So what you want to do is you don't want to create one that upgrades Windows, but you want to do one that just installs Windows from scratch. So once you've got that, just wait a little while. It might take 10 minutes, but it will it will create that 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 memory stick for you. And we need that memory stick uh, with this Windows 11 um, with, with, with this, uh, Windows 11 um, kind of like installation tool on there uh, in order to wipe and freshly install uh, Windows on the WinMax. Now I'm not going to go through it because I, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to like install Windows 11 on this machine. But uh, yeah, just go through that. If there's any issues, then just Google it. It will, it will, it, it will give you instructions on how to do it. But honestly, it's very, very straightforward. It's very, very easy and it really doesn't take that long. But I'm just going to get get out of this yes i definitely want to quit that okay so let's say you've gone ahead you've got your memory stick ready cool we are we are good um and then uh let, let's uh let's uh let's let's skip over to the next part of the tutorial okay now the 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 drivers that you've got just to be on the safe side the drivers were clean i scanned them there wasn't anything wrong with them but i recommend you scan everything uh, especially, you know, when you get something off the net or where GPD are concerned, just to be on the safe side, because when you want to start the machine, you want to start it clean. So just, um, yeah, we've got all our drivers in here. What we want to do is let's just right click it and scan with Microsoft Defender. So just let that scan go through. It will scan all the files and uh, here you go. No threats found. So the drivers are clean now. Just remove that memory stick and uh, keep it safe. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to do uh, almost the final step, I guess, which is um, the Windows 11, um, the Windows 11, um, Windows 11 install now. OK, guys, the, the next step we are now going to take is insert the memory stick, which has uh, the, the Windows image on there. The one that you um, use to create the Windows 11 media creation tool. Um, so once you've created that, plug that into a USB port. Now what you want to do is you want to restart your PC. I'm not going to do it right here, but we'll go, we'll go for it. But what you want to do is you want to hold down shift and then press restart and just keep your finger on shift until it kind of reboots. Uh, and then once it reboots, you will be on a screen that looks like this. So what we want to do is we want to go to this option here. Use a device. Once we... Uh, okay so once um once once we uh, once we kick that user device we want to point it towards our memory stick so which is this one over here in my case uefi removable uh, device so once we go through that it will then uh prompt us uh to, to install windows and and just follow the steps i, I can't do it now because i really don't want to install windows or do a fresh install of any of the machines all the machines i own now are good uh, and it's not something i'm going going to go through on camera um yeah it's just it's just not worth the hassle for me at this moment but at some point you'll come across with this window which will show you all the different partitions now this is after i've done it but what you want to do is highlight every single one delete highlight delete highlight delete highlight delete highlight delete delete absolutely everything including gpd's uh, recovery partition which i think is like 12 or 16 gig and the reason for that is if there's any malware or anything in that recovery partition um it may resurface again should you you know use the recovery screen or should you run into a problem later so you want to delete absolutely everything and once you've done that uh, you can either then create your own drives so you can create like a like a c drive and a d drive and you can use it I, I personally like the way gpd done it and i followed the same formula which is allocate 300 gig to the windows drive and the rest to a d drive so like 1.6 gig or uh, what 1.6 terabytes to a d drive but you don't have to do that straight away you can just 
put Windows on OneDrive, and then once your GPD is up and running, you can go into disk management and create other drives. Just refer to other tutorials for that if you don't know how to do it. Uh, there, there's plenty of guides online. It's it's really not that difficult to do. Um, once you've um, yeah, once you've started to put Windows on there. Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking as I'm doing it here. So yeah, once you once you've put Windows on there, yeah. So you can you can just click next. It will it will do a fresh install of Windows on there, and honestly. That honestly is is about it. Uh, the final thing you're going to do is once you've gone through and done uh, installed Windows and you've done the Windows setup is how to put the drivers back on the device, which which I'll, I'll show you now. Um, again, it will be on a different device, but the principle is exactly the same. OK, guys, congrats, congratulations. If you've made it this far, then you've done a fresh install um of windows 11 on your gpd win max you've deleted all the drives you've you've eradicated everything now drivers in order to put drivers on here just right click your windows menu now by default on the windows 11 it's around the middle um but anyway right click it and what you want to do is you want to go to device manager it's in exactly the same place on windows 11 now when you're in here just literally go to the drivers and all my drivers are up to date so i'm not going to install them but i'll go through the process as, as much as possible one thing you want to change straight away is you want to change the display adapter ones because it it doesn't recognize like the amd radeon graphics it recognizes it as something else so let's just say for example now we'll click that and just highlight the one you want then go update driver and it will give you an option to um either search automatically online or browse your computer now so if i didn't say so already just make sure you've got the memory stick which has the drivers on it um, backed up, plugged in to your WinMax, yeah? And what you want to do is when you go browse for drivers, you want to point it towards that memory stick. And in our case, it was uh, it was E, wasn't it? So if we go E, we go here, bang, there we go. I hit OK, and it will, here we go. It's now chosen, it will now look in this. So when I click Next, which I'm not going to, um, it will look in there for the drivers and it will automatically install them. And honestly, guys, I, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm really sorry that I couldn't actually do this on a WinMax, but honestly, the principles are the same. Just uh, just kind of pause through this, work how it works for you. It will work. And that's that's literally a fresh install for the GPD WinMax 2 or any Windows device, really. So, you know, in a, in, in a nutshell, you first want to uh, retrieve and back up your drivers, which we did. Then you want to create a a windows uh creation tool from directly from microsoft's website you then want to use that microsoft creation tool to freshly install windows so don't do the option there to, which is quicker like install windows but keep all your files you want to delete everything so you want to literally remove everything from the device but we're good because we backed up the drivers if there's any uh, any issues we can uh, we can get them uh we can get everything functioning again um once you've uh once yeah so once you've installed it you've backed up the dry uh, you've, you've already backed up the drivers you've done your fresh install once you've gone through the setup you just really reinstall the drivers and honestly that pre pretty much it uh is it uh guys thank you for watching uh if you've enjoyed the content and consider subscribing to the channel but bear in mind that i'll probably be doing different handheld stuff probably like steam deck analog pocket and any other and any other handhelds that i have i don't have a winmax 2 so there won't be stuff about winmax 2 specifically on here unless there's something i'll find like an interesting story or something on here but the performance checks won't be on here so if you're subscribed only for the performance checks then i'm really sorry i can't really bring you any winmax 2 content that you that, that that you consider to be of value and in that case it's probably best for you to unsubscribe from the channel because you don't want your feed being taken up with stuff that's irrelevant to you so um you know while you were on the channel uh the short life of this channel it was fun having you guys but guys those of you that do stick around i'll try and put some entertaining entertaining or useful videos up uh, i mainly focus on my main channel pixel cherry ninja because my love is retro uh, but i will be posting stuff here from time to time especially if you guys request stuff like you guys requested how to do an install uh, I've, I've i've put that on here and if my tutorial isn't good enough there's loads of tutorials online so if there's anything that's a little bit unclear or i haven't done it properly just just literally do a search and remember, it's Windows 11. You're not specifically looking for GPD Win 2 stuff. You're looking for Windows 11 stuff, and that stuff will apply. But guys, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys around. Uh, this is the Smack My Deck channel. Out.